When we say there was a tornado that hit the south that was such a powerful vortex of destruction, it was one of the most powerful ever recorded. It is incredibly rare. And Sam Champion is in our weather center tonight, and he's going to tell us what it feels like to be in the middle of that and what on earth you do. Hello tonight from London. Sam? Good evening, Diane. And to find out how powerful a tornado is, the Weather Service actually combs through the debris because each tornado level has a very distinctive damage pattern. And in EF5, the most powerful, the destruction uh, isn't where the, the debris actually isn't where the house was. The debris is miles and miles away. Tornado behind us. Wednesday's EF5, with its winds over 205 miles per hour, was a horrifying image moving across the Mississippi countryside. And EF5 is the most powerful storm on Earth. Watch how this one from 2008 shreds a home in a matter of seconds and decimates the inside of a bank. It's an extremely rare tornado. It's, uh, we typically see years go by before another one's reported. But in Wednesday's outbreak, there may have been more than one. To be an EF5, winds must exceed 200 miles an hour. Category 5 hurricanes can reach that speed too, but the damage from one of these tornadoes can be much worse. Hurricane winds tend to be strongest above the surface. A twister strength is right down to the ground. In May 2007, as I stood in Greensburg, Kansas, the scene of an EF5, I realized there is very little chance to survive one. If you don't have a shelter, a concrete reinforced uh, safe room, your chances are going to be uh, pretty slim. And we think that's why so many people died in these storms. Investigators are on the ground now trying to decide if there are other tornado EF5 levels that came out of this outbreak. So it is likely that we will have had more than one.